let's talk about someone whose hands seem to be untied, and that's Liz Truss, <laughs> former Prime Minister of 49 days, <laughs> shortest serving ever Prime Minister of this country, but she's back. And um, she did a big piece yesterday in the Sunday Telegraph um, saying it was the left-wing economic establishment which did for her. Now, I thought it was her own MPs that did for her, Andrew. Well, Are they all part of the left-wing economic establishment now? Um, I've never heard some uh, the Treasury being described as a left-wing <laughs> establishment, actually. It's the establishment, for sure, but I've never or the, thought or of it Or the international left -wing. bond markets. Yeah. <laughs> the fact, the fact she went because... Um, all the pension funds. Her budgets yeah. completely spooked the markets. She was going too quickly, too fast, uh, and she'd come up with billions of pounds worth of unfunded tax cuts. Mm. That's what spooked the markets, mm -hmm. and it's her fault. She did say, I'm not blameless, but in that very long piece in the Sunday Telegraph, 4,000 words, she didn't say sorry, and, of course, we know that she has to own some of the rises in mortgage rates that came about yeah. because the markets went into meltdown. She's done an interesting interview, and not with um, one of the main broadcasters, no. but with Spectator TV, and we've been provided with two um, of her answers. However, we don't know what the questions were. So what we're going to do is just play you the answers and ask you what you think <laughs> oh, yeah, the guess, questions... Guess, guess the question. Guess the question. What a new game. I love it. Yes. <laughs> OK. Yeah. It's already being formatted as we speak. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry about that. The truth <laughs> well, is gone the quiz show <laughs> king is here this yeah, morning exactly. on a Monday. Guess the question with Loopy Liz. Right. <laughs> yes. So let's play you the first huh? clip from the Spectator interview. Here we go. Was I trying to fatten the pig on market day? Maybe. I believed it was doable, but I knew it would be tough. I just probably didn't realise quite how tough. OK, Kevin, what was the question? Fatten the pig? Yeah. Uh, have you ever thought of becoming a farmer? <laughs> <laughs> Going into agriculture? I think one of the things, Andrew... Oh, right? Andrew, what about you? It could be a number of things, didn't there? It, it, what? It could be a number yeah, of questions, yeah, yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. It's just, look... Did she go too far? Did you go too fast with your tax cuts, uh, former Prime Minister? It might have been around the 45 p tax cut that try to fatten the pig. Yeah, which was because the it was only a tax. billion of the forty five, but nevertheless, it got a lot yeah. of the attention. And it was stupid. Yeah. Okay. Uh, stupid and ill judged. Okay, right. So we've um, ding ding yeah. round two. Right. Uh, the second clip from uh, Liz Truss's Spectator interview. You would be more delighted than me, Katie. If there were lots of other people coming forward and making these arguments, I would be more than delighted to have other people go out there and make the case. But the fact is there aren't enough people making the case full stop. Right, which case do you think? The West Ham should have. The cutting taxes. Oh, yeah, Champions what? League. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 No, Not this season. Yeah. 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 She's loopy, but not that loopy. Compulsory cake yeah. In, yeah. in every studio. I, it's cutting taxes. I, I think it's cutting taxes and going for growth in her, yeah. her, her way. I think yeah. that's it. Because she's it, unrepentant about that. But, yeah. she now, but she does accept she did it too quickly. But she's setting up a kamikaze club. Uh, there'll be another group in the Conservative Party. But this is terrible for Sunak. They're now, they're, three's a crowd. There are now three people who think they're yeah. prime minister. You've got Loopy Liz, you've got Boris Johnson, and you've got Rishi Sunak, who's don't supposed forget, to be doing the job. You've also got Theresa <laughs> May on the back benches, mm. too. I mean, this is, this is unprecedented. <laughs> We've never had this before. Four prime ministers, four former, three former primes and one prime minister yeah. in the Commons at the same time. Unprecedented. One of the wow. things that struck me about, about the other things that she says, and that interview, I think, drops at five o'clock on Spectator TV, uh, if you want to see we'll more glued. of it. <laughs> is, 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 you want to fill in the gap? She says that she and Kwasi Kwarteng weren't warned of what the financial instability, what their, what, their, what their moves would do to financial instability in the markets. They weren't expecting that. And yet that has been immediately uh, refuted oh, uh, on Twitter. Oh, glasses on before. They're serious. It's because yeah. I'm here on a Monday. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and Daisy May's coming yeah. in later. Uh, no, uh, on Twitter, uh, Sunday afternoon, the economist Charles Reed contradicted that claim, saying he gave a lecture to the Treasury civil servants and sent a letter and an entire paper on the subject to Kwarteng personally warning that any budget involving a fiscal stimulus that pushed the market interest rates risked financial instability and financial Maybe crisis. the Chancellor, as he was, then didn't tell Liz Truss. Oh, yeah. a lecture and yeah. a letter. Yeah. But, yeah. I, but I know but Treasury that, officials warned them. Because because also, she wasn't inter interested in listening to them because she yeah. thought Treasury orthodoxy, they've got it wrong the, for years, I'm doing it my way. That left-wing that economic establishment. Yeah. Yeah. But, but what she did, whenever anyone said, any officials who were experts said, 
what she didn't want to hear she was just dismissed yeah, yeah. and she was abrupt and he, he did the same as she well now turn around and say no, no one told me but also she no. they got yeah. rid of the just... first thing they did was got rid of the most senior civil servant at the treasury sir tom scholar because presumably he was saying if you do that prime minister in charter this is what will happen. Right. In, 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 and they in, got rid of him in, in politics probably the greatest quality is authenticity when you're governing it is mm. credibility and she threw away all their credibility by sacking the top uh, guy in the uh, Treasury, sure. uh, running down the Bank of England. Uh, it was not publishing any figures with this mini budget from yeah. the Office yeah. for Budget Responsibility. And that's why the international bomb market, which are very right wing casino capitalists, if not any left wing economic establishment, all thought she's loopy.